Hey y'all, it's Aviva Acto. Welcome back to Jag Infinity. So in this video, I'm going to be doing my TikTok followers makeup. But before you get to the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. So if you want your makeup done in my next video, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and go onto my Instagram and send some proof that you subscribed and then send a photo of your face. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to be using this girl for our client and she um, wanted her makeup done. So, thank you for subscribing to my channel and yeah, you're gonna get your makeup done now. Okay, so we're gonna start off with foundation. So she does have a bit of redness and pigmentation, so we're gonna go ahead and cover that up. And when we um, pick the foundation, we don't wanna do here because it's gonna be pink. We wanna go here so it's white, okay? So yeah. So let's get her foundation. This is her foundation. It does look pink, but I think that's white. I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna go under the eyes. On the cheeks. And this is really good because her hair is, is like covering her, um, what's it called? The sides of her face. So it's really easy to blend. I have done her makeup for TikTok, but now I'm going to be doing it for YouTube. So yeah. If you want your makeup done for both TikTok and YouTube, you should just stay really active and you might get it for both. So yeah. So we're going to go for the bottom. And then I'm going to leave this empty. Like, I'm not going to go like under here because look, it'll look ugly. So we're going to go just leave it and then we're going to blur it out later. So we're going to do the same foundation for the forehead because the lighting is pretty even here. So yeah. And then for the nose, we're just going to go a little bit over the nose. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after that. And then for the eyebrows, we're going to go in for a really low kind of foundation tone. And we're going to go under it, but we're going to make it really prominent like this. Like, as you can see, I'm kind of doing it, but quite, quite prominent. So it kind of makes it stand out a bit more. So yeah, same with the other eyebrow and the top, just to car car carve it out a bit. So yeah, and then now we're going to start off with eyebrows. So for eyebrows, obviously pick the tone of the eyebrows. Oops. And then go into a smaller one. We're going to go for a darker tone, actually. And I'm gonna just start coloring them in. Oops. Oh, what I've done. Sorry. Okay, I think it's a bit too thin at the end, so we're just gonna have to kind of make it a bit bigger. So yeah. Here I know I'm scared of mine. Alright, so let's go. Oops. Let's go down, down, and then this is just really for the ends because the ends are a bit, they could do a bit of filling, but other than that, they're really good. And yeah, that's really good. Now we're just going to kind of blur them out a bit just to kind of make them more realistic. So yeah, so let's just make the opacity quite low. Okay. So that's the eyebrows done and the foundation done, but we're gonna quickly just do this for that. You know, I came back to this. Yeah, that's good. And then now we're gonna go on for eye, eye makeup, sorry. Yeah, eye makeup. So for eye makeup, we're gonna go for a really natural kind of look, um, cause y'all want natural looks. I'm gonna do one for you and show you how rubbish it is. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a quiet curly pinky tone. I really want to bring in kind of the redness into it. So yeah, I'm going to go for, we're going to go like a bit over onto the brow bone and everything just to kind of um, like, because we're going to do a second cut crease layer. I always do cut creases. I don't usually do, I'm um, sorry. We're going to go also around as well, like that. Around and down, oops, not that much. Around and down. Yeah, that's good. Because we really want to kind of bring in the bottom eyelash and on the top. I'm going to do this. I I usually do this after, but I'm going to do it now. And then we're going to go for a more of a dustier kind of purpley tone. And this will really give a nice kind of purpley tone to it. And we're going to kind of do a really good opacity because this is very light. So, yeah. And then now we're going to start like erasing all the excess foundation in the eyes just because it's kind of getting in the way, you know. I could do this after the eyeliner, but yeah. 
and then I'm gonna kind of erase a bit more over the just to kind of get give the bigger eye look because I might actually put some of the eyeliner over the eyelids you'll see what I mean okay now I'm gonna go for eyeliner so for okay yeah eyeliner so as you can see, I kind of went over. See, this is the eye, eye, eyelid, and then I'm going over the eyelid. Like not, I'm not going on the waterline. Well, I am going on the waterline, but I'm kind of exceeding it out. Just give a bigger eye look. So yeah. And then the other eye. Yeah, that looks really good. Then for the, um, I'm not gonna go for wings. I think it's just gonna be a bit too over the top because y'all want a natural. Um, but we are gonna go for a fake wing, which is basically like, and you kind of do this and it kind of goes out. Oh no, it doesn't look good. Okay guys, we're gonna just leave that. I don't wanna do a wing, cause y'all wanted naturals, so I might just, oops. I might just leave it. Now we're gonna go for bottom. So we're gonna go for really, for the kajal, this is kajal. So we're gonna go for a very light, brown or not brown black and then this will kind of give you a very nice kind of subtle bowl look i might i'll just do a bit more yeah okay let's just see maybe do one more because it's a bit yeah that looks really good okay so now we're gonna go on for the nose contour so for nose contour hers um we're gonna go on for a kind of a darker tone so i'm gonna go on her neck and kind of pick a dark color like a brown so yeah because usually i cover the foundation first so it's hard to get a what's it called? color so we're gonna go on for brown i'm gonna go down so i'm gonna start on with the brow bone like this and kind of go down like that and Go for another other one and i really want it to be really skinny so i might go in a bit in my inner let's see yeah oops no yeah and then and then we're gonna go for a kind of lighter brown and we're gonna go on the side yeah. And then for the like middle, middle, yeah, middle bit. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go for white. Let's go a bit like slimmer. Too slim. And then gonna go for the tip. For the tip is really important because you really want the tip to kind of be glistening, you know. Yeah, so there we have the nose contour. Now we're gonna just blur it out, obviously. So, so yeah, let's just go into. Oops, why is this so intense? Let's go here. Yeah, and we might have to adjust on the, I mean, top up on the nose highlight just cause it's a bit kind of faded now. Yeah, let's just top up. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. Oh yeah, guys, if you want your makeup done in my next video, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and then I'll do your makeup, so yeah. And then we're gonna go for the top. Um, I don't want the kind of highlight to extend into the like middle bit of her eyebrows. So I'm gonna actually blow that out so it's mainly focused on the nose. So yeah, that looks really good. And then now we're gonna go for lips. For lips, I'm gonna still go in for a natural kind of reddish look, but I'm gonna go for a bit of a darker look. Cause obviously y'all want natural, as I said. So maybe this is quite good. And this will just even out the lip color. Kind of give you more of a colored look. Very natural, very nice. Yeah, that's very natural, nice. And then for blush, we're gonna do blush as well. So for blush, we're gonna go um, 
use the same lipstick color but in a very very light color like that and that looks really nice i can i love the coloring in this um i feel like it looks so good so yeah and then we're gonna go on for a more of a dusty i think i'm gonna adjust on the um eyela eyebrows not eyebrows eyelashes what am i talking about not the eyelashes the eyeshadow i might just kind of give you give it more of a colored look just to kind of make it more bold so yeah and then we're gonna go for eyelashes now for eyelashes it's literally just on the air tool and then going on for a little stroke so like this that same for the other side what you just strokes like this Oops. make sure you get it like all the same size it literally just looks like um like clamp top eyelashes which is really good and then for the bottom we can still do the same so but you don't have to because usually it's the top eyelashes that are bigger so yeah that's the end of the makeup look oh let's just go this yeah, that's the end of the makeup look. If you like this makeup look, I'd make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want your makeup done in my next video, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and send proof on Instagram that you subscribe and I'll do your makeup and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all!